Good morning, everyone. Newly identified cases of COVID in New Jersey and New York State continue to decrease. Here at Columbia Orthopedics, we have some exciting news. As of Monday, May 18th, we will be reopening our office for in-person visits according to phase one guidelines. As of Monday, steps towards reopening will happen across New York and New Jersey as well for small businesses. The restart of non-essential construction along with that of non-essential businesses for curbside pickup will be permitted. Drive-in and drive-through events are now allowed in New Jersey while abiding social distance rules. In both New York and New Jersey, face coverings continue to be required to protect one another when in public spaces, especially indoors. There are two types of diagnostic tests available to determine COVID infection status, the nasal swab and the saliva test. The saliva test was developed at Rutgers University and will make testing more widely available and easier to accomplish on a larger scale. Scientists uh, at Rutgers recently released this and FDA approval was granted and we will see what costs and availability will be for this test as we begin to ramp up, but I do think that this is going to be a vital step. Additionally, antibody testing has ramped up. This will give us vital information regarding the actual epidemiology of this problem. The testing is done via blood work by a trained professional that will draw blood from usually your arm and then the blood will be sent to a laboratory where it will be analyzed. Over the next several weeks and months, we will have more epidemiological data, which will guide our policy and decision making. The, testing for, the process for testing students and staff will become more clear as we come together to analyze tactics that will work within each school district and among larger organizations to better understand what interval of testing is necessary. Contact tracing is also going to be a vital step for reopening. Johns Hopkins has released a training course for free and a certificate requires about a $50 payment, uh, but the free training course will help to understand what contact tra tracing entails and who can become uh, trained in this uh, vital, important step to reopening. I would encourage all administrators to either take the test, uh, the course themselves, or to delegate an assistant or someone else within their organization that can help to better understand what contact tracing looks like. We'll need more and more people to fill these roles in order for us to have a successful and efficient reopening process. There are numerous apps and other guidance with videos for exercise. I encourage you to exercise daily. Uh, continue to get outdoors when you can and when not able to socially distant, wear a mask. Uh, there are drills available for teams and organizations to uh, refer to for soccer, football, baseball, so that when we do return to play, we can return safely. Uh, in musculoskeletal medicine, we are concerned that people who have been sedentary and then ramp up too quickly may end up with uh, injuries. So please try to find some of these videos. We've posted some ourselves using physical therapists within our organization for football and soccer and gymnastics training. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Be well, be safe.